a biblical perspective on life, culture and current events. This is 2020 on Vision. Well, it's a special treat today because we are calling Neil Johnson and Andrew Robbo Robinson in Hobart, Tasmania. They've both flown down there because it is the Tasmanian state election this weekend and they are going to be doing live updates uh, from the New South, uh, from the Tasmanian state election. And Neil, are you with us now? I'm sure here. Good to talk to you, Andrew. Good to have you with us, Neil. Neil, can I ask, if someone's thinking to themselves now, why is Neil Johnson from Vision Radio, uh, who does the 2020 program in Tasmania for the state election, can you tell our listeners why? Well, you know, we had, before COVID, uh, turned the thought that there would be states having state elections with local state politics uh, in each of the states. And, and so we've done these numerous times now. We went to Perth for a Western Australian state election, went to Adelaide for a South Australian state election. We've been in Melbourne for a state election. We don't actually do something special for the Queenslanders because we're already based in Queensland. But uh, when the Tasmanian state election comes along, uh, we just wanted to be here on the ground talking with local uh commentators for insights into the real issues as Tasmanians will be voting on Saturday. So here we are, the opportunity, and tomorrow at our regular 2020 slot, uh, we're going to be having a panel of great insight into what happens at the Tasmanian state election on Saturday. And Neil, what about if a listener is thinking to themselves, well, why is Christian radio involving themselves in politics? You know, why should we bother? What would your response be to that question or that that comment? You know, we come across this quite often, don't we, in conversation. And Christians have a little bit of a scepticism or a phobia about involving our conversation in politics. But if you just reframe that for a moment and say Christians are interested in values, now values are important, and we know that we can associate values with our Christian faith. But the way that those values as salt and light become part of our community is through political process. So I I think on 2020, we overcome that sort of stigma of Christians talking about politics by talking about the sort of values that we might see as being good for a state or good for a nation. And so, you know, we are involving ourselves in politics. We've been talking about these things for a long time. That doesn't necessarily mean we have to be partisan and take a particular side. But what it does is it gives us a really good reason to expose where the values sit on all sides of politics. So if you're a Liberal National Party voter, you might be wondering, how do those compare with a Christian values base? Or if you're a Labor Party supporter, how does that uh, correspond with a Christian values base? And if you just happen to be way out on the fringes like the Greens, which is very anti-Christian, you might be saying, well, how does that actually uh, correlate with any sort of Christian values? So being able to talk about values ahead of a state election The idea is that for listeners who are in Tasmania this week, uh, when they're hearing Christian commentary on the policies that are being put forward on all sides of the campaign, to be able to filter those through a Christian lens gives people an opportunity to be able to vote according to their Christian conscience. Somehow or other, it's been the case that over perhaps generations, we've gotten to the point where we say... Our political ideas are detached from our Christian ideas. And I think on 2020, we come from a position where we would like to think that voters can have their Christian worldview influence the values that they have. And when they come to vote at an election, like they will here in Tasmania this weekend, that there might be a way that you can actually have your values make a real salt and light difference in your very own community. That's where we're at with those things. And would it be fair to say, Neil, that now more than ever, Christians do need to be engaged in the political process because it seems like there's so much legislation being passed that potentially works against the Christian church and against our own personal faith? 
Well, you'll know, Andrew, that every day on 2020, we are addressing some level of values issue. And it is the case that Christians have a voice, have a vote, and our vote is no less valuable than anyone else's vote. So when there are values that we've held traditionally that have come from a Christian foundation in the heritage that we have as Australians, and we see those things being turned upside down, trampled and steamrolled, we'd recognise unless we make some sort of a decision to stand up and say, hey, wait a minute, you've gone too far. These are the values that I want to stand for. These are the values I want to raise my children by and form my family and see in my community because those are the values that are going to give me a level of safety and security and prosperity that we can actually see in evidence in the way that happens in nations where Christian values are enacted. So uh, I hope that sort of you know, gives listeners a little bit of a, a broader idea about you know, where it starts and where it ends, and our vote is just as important in the process. Absolutely, Neil, and and well said. And just to remind our listeners, tomorrow, Neil will be broadcasting 2020 live from Hobart, Tasmania. It's a special Tasmanian election special on 2020 tomorrow in our usual time, and that will be broadcast live from Hobart. Neil Johnson, I want to thank you so much for joining us today and really looking forward to the program tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.